this is Mary with DIY Easy Breeze and we are at a homeowner's site installing them today and thank you for uh, watching our video. So we have everybody on site, the dog, the, the uh, lady of the house and uh, we're all excited about this room today. So this is a 4x4 four four post which you would have in your home and uh, we have painted them. So they're all set to insert uh, the Easy Breeze system into these posts. We will give you a step-by-step -step instructional photo um, of how to install these panels in this daylight opening right here. So we will continue uh, in a moment. When your units have arrived from the PGT, They'll come, they'll come boxed up, just open each one individually, carefully inspect all the flanges, check make sure that nothing's bent, broken, any of these uh, right here. You'll notice there's these handles with these slide mechanisms, make sure none of those are missing. When the panels come to you from PGT, they will have a coating system on here with the measurements. So as what we're doing right now, we're taking all these out and we are putting them, just leaving them in the, in the spaces where they need to be. So that can make it easier for you if you go by these measurements right here. Okay. So this is the way that you're going to receive the unit as we said. There is a flange on here. The screen is on the outside, does not remove itself. So the screen is on the outside. The four track vinyl is on the inside. So this is the flange that you are going to attach to your wood. So what's the depth of that flange? And that Travis? flange measures roughly seven eighths of an inch. So So you have some play. You do have it's play, but when you but because of the way that these things are ordered, it is wise to, like we said, when you drill your hole to put to set your window, try to drill it towards the outside of the flange because the units are going to come out a quarter inch smaller than your hole. So if you drill it way on the inside here and you run a screw in there, you might miss your framing. So make sure that you, at the very least, you want to hit that outside groove there or even go and center between that outside groove and the edge of your flange because then you will ensure that you're going to hit the framing that's there. All right, so because we're going into wooden posts, we need, we're, we're using wood screws. Brian is pre-drilling holes for the wood screws. And as you can see, he's hitting, they make two little kind of reliefs here. And to be consistent with your installation, you want to either try and hit the inside or the outside one with all the holes you drill. And as you watch, he'll Before you install the window, you want to take, because this is wood and it's painted, don't, don't use silicone, use some sort of a, an acrylic latex so that you can paint it, but you just want to put a nice bead right behind the flange. So the first thing you're going to do is just kind of drop the unit in the hole and again, you know, you might want to check both your posts both sides, see how um, how plumb they are. In this case, this post looks pretty plumb, so what you'd want to do is try to somewhat center the unit in the bottom of the hole so that you, you, do, you are able to adjust it side to side if you need to. And then, as you can see, we've, we've centered the unit in the hole, trying to keep an even reveal on both sides. And then what we're going to do is we take the level, we put it on there, and then take some sort of a, a chisel or something, and you want to just put it under that edge there and just kind of raise up your unit till it sits level, and then, yep, you're good. Nice and, nice and level, as you can see. And then what you're going to want to do, once you've leveled the bottom, you'll send it in your hole, you'll take 
your longer level, if you have one, and just sort of drop it on one of the tracks and take a look. And it actually looks like we need to come that way to right there. And again, it's, it's pretty important that you get the unit as level and plumb as you can to ensure that the four tracks are able to slide up and down without, because if your frame is at all twisted or out of square, it'll, it'll, it'll inevitably cause you problems with your units sliding up and down. So it's pretty important. This is the most important part, getting it nice and uh, level and plumb so that your hole is good. Be good, man. what we will do and again this you just pull that lever open it up and that comes right out that was that the piece from the packaging and we just uh, we, we, we go ahead and push all the windows up all the way shut and as you can see where these bars are the middle one here Brian right now he's located that bar and he's pre-drilling a third hole for each side and what you do is once he's found those, you can shut these. And one thing that we, we typically do, because lots of times the screen is lined so tight that it can actually pinch the frame a little bit. So what you want to do is just, you know, if you have somebody there, just kind of put some light tension on that to press it just to make sure that you're, when you go to um, operate the unit, that you're the screen is not pinching the frame and causing it to not operate properly. So. Yeah, and when you're, and when you're, you know, as you once you get it all set and you're kind of testing the window, just make sure you'll notice here. There's two clips here that'll keep this, the whole thing from falling down. And when you go up, you just want to make sure to push it nice and tight. Everything should be interlocked all the way down. And then as you, you know, and if you want, you can go like this too. Make sure they go all the way up. Everything seems to be working fine. And, um, yeah, there you go. Installed. Just like that. And then, in, in some applications, if you notice, there's a little bit of a, a reveal here, like a shadow line. This, these units are actually, they fit very nicely. So you could probably even just chase this with a, with a beta caulk, some paintable caulk. In some instances, you need to get a, where the gap's a little bit bigger, you might use quarter round or shoe mold or something to just go around the inside here just to clean that up if you want. It's not a, it's a pretty simple, it's kind of the installer's discretion how they want to handle it, so. That's perfect. There it is.